team behind Immersed, the work productivity application, have now announced the potential pricing and some further details for the upcoming VR headset in an interview with MRTV and on their Visor website. The headset will come in two main options, both with micro OLED displays with a resolution of 2.5K per eye or 4K per eye. Exact resolutions aren't mentioned. However, the 2.5K should bring clarity levels similar to the big screen beyond, whilst the 4K per eye should be similar clarity to the Pimax Crystal. The micro OLED display should ensure excellent color and contrast. These resolutions coupled with the incredibly sleek looking form factor could mean a much more comfortable offering for working in VR for longer periods. The headset comes with arms so they can be worn like a pair of glasses and comes with a rear head strap for a more secure fit if needed. The headset is adapted specifically for each user with a similar face scan process as the big screen beyond which will measure IPD, adjust the nose bridge and allow for a more focused facial interface for the user. This could make it more difficult to sell on a device once you upgrade or if you no longer need it. However, with the specs, you might find it will remain relevant for working in VR for a number of years. Immersed have paired with Qualcomm and Intel with a device having the XR2 Snapdragon chip and utilizing Intel's One API, which is an open API standard allowing for potentially easier integration and development. The device has an external battery which will need to be connected to the visor when in use, so it isn't completely wireless. However, this will help take components and weight off of the headset. The visor has the capability of being connected to your PC by a cable from the battery or wirelessly and works with Windows, Macs and Linux. The cable connectivity hasn't quite been clarified. Currently, Immersed utilizes connection over Wi-Fi or USB protocol and not DisplayPort, meaning any content is compressed then uncompressed at the headset. This could mean if the headset does end up being connected to PC over USB and being used for gaming, then it will experience compression artifacts, which will mean it won't be as clear as the picture with the Pimax crystal over its DisplayPort cable. It has been stated that it has full colour pass-through at a level of detail above what is currently available, so I'd expect it to be sharp on the Quest Pro or Pico 4, but it isn't known how it will compare to the Quest 3. It has 6 degrees of freedom and has hand tracking, and as previously advertised, it does have eye tracking. The operating system is designed specifically around the app Immersed, and doesn't come with any app store or immediate ability to be used for other VR content. It is however based on OpenXR and the team have stated that the ecosystem won't be locked down so side loading and modification should be possible and will hopefully lead to it being capable of doing other VR gaming and could be perfect for racing or flight sims. There aren't any controllers currently advertised or expected so VR use might be limited unless it can take advantage of other controllers on the market. The field of view has been advertised as around 100 degrees, although they are still fine tuning it and are hoping that the final product will be very slightly over a 100 degree field of view. The front glass panel is magnetically fixed in place and the pass through and tracking cameras can be found underneath. This will allow for easy placement should it break or get damaged, unlike the Apple Vision Pro. With the front glass panel being quite dark, it isn't yet clear how dark the pass through camera will be. The visor isn't designed for glasses to be worn as it was intended to keep it as small as possible. However, magnetic lens inserts will be an option. I'd almost decided not to consider the visor option following my use of the Exo Airs as I just expected the visor headset to be priced incredibly high. I was pleasantly surprised though. Initial pricing has been announced at 499 US dollars for the 2.5K resolution or 750 US dollars for the 4K model. There is the potential that the price will change as the device gets nearer to the final product. However, it has been said that these prices might be the likely final cost. Shipping is the take place in 2024 and although exact dates cannot be confirmed, the Immersed team have announced a third option, a limited edition version which will have a slightly different coloured glass and lifetime access to their pro tier of software along with a couple of other features. Any user going for this founders edition will also receive it six months before other 4K users. This limited edition version comes in at 999 US dollars for the first two weeks, after which it will be 1249 US dollars. So if you want the 4K option as soon as possible, then the limited edition option, of which there are 25,000 units, may be the option for you. Although I understand this is still a lot of money, considering its potential, it is a far more reasonable offer if you intend to use it for work when compared to the Apple Vision Pro or other available devices and its features and VR use options may expand rapidly once in the hands of modders.
time will tell. The team have also offered a referral discount. So if you have friends or family that also get this, they can use your referral code, allowing you to get up to 50 US dollars off your order per referral. Each headset sold is sold at a loss, but the Immersed team expect that over time they will recover the cost through the use of their app Immersed. I have ordered one and will be covering the information and updates on this channel over the coming months. So stay tuned for further content and once again, thanks for watching.